Hey everybody, Scott Kelby here from KelbyOne.com and we are wrapping up our series called 10 Things You Didn't Know or Forgot or in Photoshop and we're going to wrap up with numbers 8, 9, and 10 all in one because we've all lost patience with this series. We're ready for it to be over and move on to something else in our lives. I know that you feel that way. I know that I feel that way. So here we go. The last three. Number one, a thing that you didn't know or forgot was in Photoshop. How about this bad boy right here? The the ruler tool what all right so the ruler tool just allows you to quickly measure things you just go i wonder how long this is you just drag out this little tool look up in the options bar and it'll go oh that thing is about almost five inches 4.79 inches long so that's what it is it's just a simple measuring tool and it, when you're done you hit the clear button over here and that's it it just measures stuff all right it's not the greatest tool Maybe that's why you've never used it. But can I tell you something? When you actually need it, it's incredibly handy. That's number one. Number two is, this is a really good one. You will use this next one. Check this out. So let's say this is a hypothetical situation, but you're taking this image here, we'll select all and copy, and you're gonna paste it into this document. And the image is smaller than the document, and you wanna crop it down to where it fits. Do not get the crop tool. You do not have to do that. All you have to do is this. Check this out, this is pretty handy. Go into the image menu, hit trim, click OK, done. So what that does, let me undo that for you. What that does is the trim dialog box will trim the image based on the top left pixel color or the bottom right pixel cover, col uh, excuse me, color. I just leave it set to top left. So all I have to do is open it up, click OK, and it trims down whatever I have. So anytime you want to just trim down to the, to the uh, image, get rid of the stuff around it, that's number nine. Number 10 is actually really good. Number 10 is another way of converting to black and white. You have here, I'm, I'm gonna duplicate this image so you can see. All right, so you have the very flat way of going to, right, just choose grayscale, it's very flat, boo. All right, so now let's go back to the color one. Here's what you can do. Go into the image menu and go to calculations. I always wondered what that was for. Here's what it's for. It makes awesome black and white conversions because you get to choose different channels and different blending modes. So the blending mode I like to use most often is either soft light or overlay. So we'll choose soft light. You can see it makes a pretty nice black and white. It's already better than the regular black and white conversion, but there's more. You get to choose which channels are blended together to create this black and white. So you can say, how's the red and the gray look? How's the red and the green look? How's the red and the blue look? And you get to combine them here. How about green and blue here? How about green and gray? And you get to lower the opacity so you can control the amount. And you can also choose other uh, modes like overlay or darker color, or you can choose whatever you like and then try different combinations. So there's a lot of flexibility here. You get instant feedback and there you go so here i'll just show you that's just you know i didn't really do an awesome job but neither did the flat one that comes out of photoshop so you can tweak and tone it any way you want and that wraps up thankfully it's a mercy wrap up <laughs> i give you mercy uh, of wrapping up 10 things you didn't know or forgot were in photoshop thanks to everyone who hung in there with me thanks to everyone who left zero comments <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this may have not been my greatest series. However, where is my greatest stuff? It's over at kelby1.com if you want to see. Uh, I would recommend checking out my class, if you're into Photoshop, called From Flat to Fabulous in Photoshop. And what I basically did was took a bunch of images, took them from right out of the camera all the way to the finished product. You see every step of the way and you get to download the same images I worked on, the same raw images. You can download them and follow right along. The uh, early reports have been over the roof on it and I want you to try it out. And you can watch it for free. Even if you're not a Kelby One member, go take the free trial at kelbyone.com and you'll be off and running in no time. Thanks very much, everybody. Scott Kelby here. We'll see you next time.